So if you guys have been living under a rock, Peak Fiction dropped. However, there are numerous things that this game left out that can definitely improve the longevity of it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of the very few that felt this game was kind of short, if I'm being real, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. God forbid, I do not want another RPG that is a minimum of 56 hours. I don't want that shit, okay? But I can't lie, after waiting five years and being left with this as the map after you complete the game, it makes me feel a type of way, my nigga. So here's a really simple, easy fix, which was, even in the first game, as well as Miles Morales, make the combat sectors replayable. Boom. Just like the prisoner sectors and the demon sectors, do the same thing with the hunter blinds and, you know, the... You you know, just in case, just in case you guys haven't beat the game yet, but there are other combat areas in the game. Boom. Automatically, some replay values back into the game. Next up is easily replayable missions without a need to do the new game plus no one, no one wants to do that you know what i'm saying insomniac already said they're working on this so there's no need to deep dive into it too much but some of the best missions are easily in the third act which people may not feel like is worth replaying the entire game if they just want to play this one sector so uh you know get on insomniac get on you what a good sport dlc the bane of every gamer's existence what used to be something that people dreaded people are now craving for in some of these newer games not all some of these newer games last game had a city that never sleeps which really didn't mold too well with the base game story they were more or less the the misadventures of spider-man like how we have the amazing spider-man as the mainline comic and we have uh fuck, i don't know the thuggalicious spider-man as the sideline comic with the way that sideline quest ended as well as the other one involving craven looking for this mysterious person there's at least the possibility of one of those being able to carry over to a DLC of some sort. I don't think Insomniac will have us waiting, let's say like four years for the next Spider-Man game to come out to complete these. Now, what would really be cash money is an expansion because of that one particular side quest, I personally think needs more than a three pack DLC. There's just no way you can cover that character in just three three pieces of dlc that i think the first game's dlc was maybe like an hour a piece so it's literally just three hours of gameplay i don't think i don't think you can fit all that within three hours it needs its own little you know like 12 hour expansion sort of like the miles game but instead just put it with this one next up and lastly i'm pretty sure you guys saw this coming drop more suits bro preferably some combo suits that mesh well with both Peter and Miles, so we can have them both looking fly as hell. For instance, the Spider-Verse suit for Peter should have been in the game outright. You already have the model for it, and you what you guys did was you guys made a brand new model for Peter with the Noir one, but didn't bring his one that you already have into this one? And for God's sake, you ported most of Miles' suits over, so why didn't you just do that for Peter? Look, man, it kind of sucks ass, but Miles' selection, I, you, you, you guys go crazy, you know? Just, just do, do what you want. Do what you want, bro. You can't complain with Miles. But uh, that's all I got. All around the game was the best experience I've had since my first love, and uh, that's all I got. Goodbye.